All right, let's uh, skip this cutscene, okay? So first up, we're going to angle the box in this very position. Um, what I use is at the bottom right of the screen, you can see this kind of pattern on the box. It's kind of like a key or something. And the tip of it needs to touch the end of the screen. And then you're going to push it forward. And then the position is right here-ish. I don't think it's like pixel perfect, but you kind of want the right corner to be, you know, where those two patterns cross each other. And then the left corner is usually on that line ish. And then you do the classic rewind, grab, pull it back, you end up there past the cutscene. Put it in a good spot, turn around, and then you can look at the box again. I I guess I'm doing the same thing here, but now the key is on the left side. Pull it straight, and then this is kind of precise. Your usual setup probably won't work, uh, because you need to skip the cutscene now as well. There's another cutscene trigger. And what I do is I put the back or the front foot of the prince on that line there, and you can see. And then you also need to release the box for a bit, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. And yeah, that's how you can skip the cutscene. It's pretty consistent for me, so free. <laughs>